This is Troy from Blockchain Rookies, and this is Blockchain Essentials. Really glad that you've watched through the last series. The last bit I want to talk about is the future of blockchain. Where do we see blockchain actually going in five, in 10, or in 20 years? I want to begin with the end, a lot like internet. One of the parallels we talk about in Blockchain Rookies when comparing email to the internet is we say all email runs on the internet, but the internet runs more than email. And all cryptocurrency runs on the blockchain, but the blockchain runs more than just cryptocurrency. The interesting thing is almost no one talks about the internet anymore. They talk about things they can do on top of the internet. In 10 years time, in 15 years time, no one will talk about blockchain. It will be an invisible part of the fabric of the internet. It will make the services that are built on top of it the real value. That's where people will think and that's where people will focus not on blockchain, but on what blockchain enables. Some of the really interesting things that we see happening are the ability to do provenance, to prove where things come from and prove where individual components come from. Whether we're talking about the source of luxury goods, luxury watches, luxury handbags, or whether we're talking about the source of actual authentic drugs, removing counterfeit drugs from the supply chain, improving health and well-being for people. Both of those things are really interesting projects that are currently being looked at for the blockchain. Another really interesting one is identity. Right now, my identity is granted to me and authorized by an individual country. So my passport tells me who I am and it's recognized by other countries. What if my identity was down to me and was owned by me? We call this self-sovereign identity. And my identity is more than just my name and more than just my birthday. It's everything that is about me. It's the car I drive, it's the food I like. Having control of my data as part of my self-sovereign identity allows me to share that data with who I want, and especially in the days of Facebook and data leakage and data breaches, I can control who gets it and how it gets monetized, and I can participate more actively in those value exchanges. When I look at where is blockchain today, I really compare it back to where the internet was and where computers were in 1998. It is indeed the Windows 98 day of blockchain. Since Windows 98 to 2019, we've had a variety of evolutions. Windows has transformed completely a couple of times. Mac OS has changed completely. And Unix has gone from nothing to Linux to powering some of the biggest companies in the world. I really see blockchain having the same level of evolution to deal with the same core principles of immutability, decentralization, and distribution to create a trusted environment for multiple companies to come together, for industries to work together. But it may not be the blockchains that we see today. We may get totally different versions of blockchain. Another example, just as a tangent, is a tangle from IOTA. It's a blockchain principle, but it's not the classic blockchain structure. These are really, really some of the most exciting times for blockchain around. And the future of blockchain is incredibly bright, and I hope you will join us in learning more about blockchain. This is Troy from Blockchain Rookies. This has been the future of blockchain. Thanks for watching.